Hi lonely people, today we are going to watch episode 6, season 2 of Heartstopper! Woo the one thing that I'm really curious about is Darcy. What is up with that? Also meeting Nick's dad as well. So let's go, let's immediately start this. <laughs> Would you feel better if I waited here? I'm scared. Tellement grandi, mais qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? Please be a good person. This is my dad, Stefan. Uh, this is my. He's Coffee. such a dad. So you meet Nick in school? Oh yeah, he speaks English. When do you graduate? Must be soon now. I've still got two more years left. I would have invited you this summer, but Martin is having this new. Martin. Is Martin a girl's name? Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, he's chill. We're chill. I am hoping. I am hoping this is gonna be. <sighs> I'm sorry, boy. Something has come up and I just can't get out of it. They just got here. I'm sure Mum will be okay with it and, and David will wanna see it. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god, he's gonna see I it. I talked to David, he had plenty of little copines when he was your age. Wonderful to meet one of Nick's friends. I was gonna say he might have an idea. He might sense that something is up. He's a dude. <laughs> are dudes that keen? He's like a straight dude, <laughs> bro. Like, are straight dudes that observant? That's such a weird thing to say to your kid. It's like, your brother had lots of girlfriends when he was your age. Like, us. Is that a flex? We just got here. We sneaked out. We rode the freaking train to get here. I was fast. I really thought I could talk to him about you. There'll be other chances. Bro, we haven't had a coffee yet, bro. Like, who's gonna pay for- I Just will. He me. left the money, I guess. Also, you have a hickey on your neck. Now I feel like the dad saw the hickey. I have something to share. Yeah, we kissed. We kissed. Me and Elle kissed. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> So what happens if boys sleep over this well? Damn. Or they're just really, really good friends. You have to tell us everything I, right now. Well, she kind of initiated it. We didn't talk about it though. I thought it was a mistake. But it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> what does this mean? Are, are you two dating? So you need to talk to her. I'm going to text the girls. Wait, wait, hang wait, on. What are you sending? Well, we should explore the hotel. Where you've got guys, to. Literally the best oh, friends ever. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Aww. <laughs> what? Are we just sneaking around? I feel like Ben's gonna be there. Or Harry or something. Someone's there. I feel like someone's there. Charlie, you literally fainted on me today. But how are you feeling about seeing your dad? But I know I've been stressed about coming out, but the only thing I realized how stressed out you've been. But it doesn't matter how I feel about it anyway. It kind of does. It matters to me. We're all in this together. Oh my god, that was- I feel like- Boys! That is so embarrassing. That is embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Pretty sure I did the exact same thing at that age. Sneaking around like that with a boy. He never did anything like that. We just laid a foundation. Boy, that boy. Knowing you, don't figure out your game to your late twenties. Oh my god! Tend to miss out on those beautiful gay teenage experiences. Oh my god! Hmm. Probably a bit late for me to have any youthful moments of discovery. Don't think there's an age limit on those, to be honest. You flirt with me. <laughs> Hey, babe. What the fuck, dude? They're so gonna kiss right now. They are so gonna kiss. Ah, come on. We should head back. <laughs> Mama, that was a lot of sexual tension. Why is he limping? Oh, they are gonna be a handful today. Did we kiss last night? So what are we? Yay, I'm pop star! I'm the two of 
Pay transition! I I'm kind of bamboozled right now. <laughs> Are we together? Yeah. Yes, no one's gonna judge us here. You go ahead, we'll, we'll meet you there. Alright. They're so gonna do something. If you wanted some privacy with Nick, you could just say so. Excuse me. <laughs> just stay here for a bit. We haven't kissed in like two days. <sighs> Everything has to be perfect until it's a princess. Surprise! Uh-oh. I feel like Darcy is more extroverted than Tara, so her idea of a surprise party is probably something like this. But for Tara, I feel like more private, intimate gatherings or parties with just her Darcy, their closest friends are probably better. But it's all in good intentions, right? But the one thing that she wants is like an explanation and answers to all her questions. This feels just not that. You no, know, like this is, you know, something you should appreciate. I feel like this is a lot of hard work. It's just a matter of preference. Oh my god! Bestie! Aww. We're all feeling alone. Yeah, I feel like he's not romantically interested in anyone. Who invited you? Ha there you are. Okay, I thought I that was Harry. Friends. Oh shit! I thought that was Harry and I was like... Immediately was like, oh my god! Imagine, 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 imagine if him and her. <laughs> and that would have been so juicy. Morally, kind of great, but entertainment-wise, ooh, ooh. I mean, to be honest, I sort of had a crush on him last year. <laughs> Not anymore, though. <laughs> um. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he does not care. Uh, I do have a question on someone else, though. Oh. Yeah? Oh. Is it me? Hmm. Oh, why is this like a culture thing? Why are people just kissing without talking first? <laughs> It feels weird. It feels weird because I feel like he's not into it. He's not into him. Um... I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like... He, Isaac, might have been feeling a lot of pressure because everyone around him is exploring things romantically, sexually, all of that. And I feel like that's not his pace. Like, I, that's not his interest. And, and he might have felt overwhelmed. And, like, am I the strange one? Am I weird to not be interested romantically on someone? Am I weird that I feel uncomfortable with all this? Am I strange? Am I... Like, that's so frustrating because I feel like you see your friends, your peers having romance and since, since the morning said, But I love romance! Like, I feel like in theory that's something that he wants but now that he's experiencing something like that he's kind of realizing that maybe not, maybe that's not for him but then you're young, you're experiencing it for the first time that's not something you understand immediately. It's so frustrating that I want to like someone, that I want to be with someone, I want to be in a relationship. But like, something is just not right. 
Also, it could have been the entire situation. Maybe he's just not someone that could be romantically interested in anyone. And how feels so lonely? That has a specific feeling of you th think that no one can relate to it. No one anyway this time, right? Mm. Please don't. Oh, very obvious flirting, but it's alcohol time! Have you even been near your girlfriend the entire night? My parents never let me have alcohol. I'm kind of concerned because you don't eat a lot and you're gonna drink. Did you eat before this? Ben brooding at the corner. Yeah, well, no homophobes at my birthday party. Mo what? Man, everyone's here. Can I not just talk to Nick and Charlie? I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I know I've said I some homophobic stuff in the He's past. So weird. Uh, I feel like no, I'll never say anything like that again. <laughs> Like, I don't understand Harry at all. Like, do I believe him? No. But this is one of the consequences of the characters telling us what happened rather than us seeing it. You know what I mean? Like, because even Tao, like, saying to Charlie, like, I, I feel like I was partially responsible for you getting outed because someone heard us like they just told us that like we didn't see it happen and all the bullying that happened to charlie we also just know it happened because they keep referencing to it they keep talking about it but we never really saw it so now i'm like yeah obviously harry bullied him and was homophobic like we saw it happen like at his party but we never really saw if like the last year he was they're like they're there that, that doesn't excuse the fact that he said some homophobic things right but i feel like the impact of that scene would have been so much more if we actually saw him like being so like blatant because now he's in my eyes he's so morally gray like he's so morally confusing that i'm like are you actually changing because i've heard you say stuff but not that much like i mean it was enough to hate you but like people this is because they're young this is like the thing right because they're so young i'm like are you actually changing are you changing now because i feel like i'm old they're 16. like at 16 i was also doing some shit, right because you're you're young you're allowed to be young you're allowed to make mistakes but then eventually you grow out of it and you be you become a better person so like i'm always up to like because these people are so young i'm always like they can still change and that's not gonna erase what they did but they can still change they're at the peak age where they're learning stuff but still yeah yeah it's a great thing that he tried to stood up for himself uh, i don't know i don't really have any celebrity crush yeah i feel like he's not romantically interested in that imagine got a boyfriend last year and stopped texting me Oh my god, are they gonna kiss? <laughs> the fanfics are writing themselves. I dare Charlie to kiss. Ben. Ben. <laughs> Look at your face. This is exactly. Oh my god. You guys have to understand. This week, these are characters, right? So I'm in real life. They, this would have been so fucked up. But because this is a form of entertainment, and I'm taking it as a form of entertainment, this is exactly the kind of thing that hooks you to watch these shows. It's so juicy. It's so juicy. <laughs> This is exactly what I wanted to happen! From the perspective of a viewer, this is so fucking entertaining. Dude, dude, okay, wait, I'm so happy. I'm so happy they took this direction. It's so awkward that it's great. No way. That isn't even funny. I barely know Charlie. Oh, uh, Imogen is trying to be like... Give you the hickey. What? Can we just move on from there? Yeah, I was about to say... I know who it was. Oh Me. We're dating. <laughs> you were saying it the other day. I never would have guessed yeah. Nick was gay. Yeah. 
It's the first step that's always hard. We're okay with people knowing. Dang. Ben could never. Ben. I'm sorry to ruin this very lovely moment, but I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm going to pretend I believe you have food poisoning. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Dang, all my adrenaline from that scene. <laughs> it's still great though. What are you doing? <laughs> be careful. My heart is still beating. Where are we meant to go? We are going that way. That way? Yeah. That way. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Do you think it's gonna get passed around? Like, yeah. Yeah. Probably. I think I'm okay with that. I'll be okay. Yeah. Since Tal and Isaac are staying in the girls' room tonight, I could sleep in here. <laughs> yeah, actually thought. I think you're gonna have to move over because that's my side of the bed. Well, I... oh, you're crushing me! Oh my god, my girl! Side. This position is so positioning right now. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. I, I do like it. it. It's just um, I'm I'm not sure I'm ready to do anything more than kiss. I didn't think we did that right now. Oh my! God. This is so awkward. I do I do want to. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I'd only want to do it if you did, and if you didn't ever want to do it, then I wouldn't either. That sounded really cheesy. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. What has happened? Oh, I'm sorry for ruining your birthday. I don't have to be perfect for you. Nobody's perfect. I love you. I love you so much. I know it sounds like I don't mean it. I really do mean it. I love you. Are you gonna report her? No. She can't get in trouble for having food poisoning, can she? I suppose I'd better head down to reception and try and get Ew. some fresh sheets. You could just share bed? my bed. Stupid idea. Yeah. You said. No. I don't think it's a stupid idea. This is gonna make me emotional. How many years of suppression did you go through, Sir, Sir Farouk? Um, they also insinuated another thing? <laughs> what happened? What happened? I feel like everything just went wrong at the end. Like, I, I thought we were gonna reconcile everything because we talked, Darcy said I love you, Mr. Farouk and Mr. Angel kissed. Now, are we just about to start now? Everyone's gonna know. Nick and Charlie's dating. That's gonna be an entire thing, especially when they come back to school. Darcy and Tara, they're a bit picky. Darcy's acting a bit weird after she, you know, the next morning after she said, I love you to Tara. And Mr. Farouk, and they're kind of awkward. What has happened? What's gonna happen with Ben? What's gonna happen with Harry? Like, I just hope Harry and the gang wouldn't be like seeking revenge for Charlie. And that's one thing is if the whole school find out that Nick is dating Charlie, it might also be something that the dad could find out through that. But also, Isaac. Yeah, like what I've said earlier, that's the feeling that I get. That he feels alone and lonely over the fact that he's not interested in anyone and I feel like he, may, he, he thinks that he's the only one thinking that way. Talking about a lot of things here. Yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye!